Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Singing with Lauren. Today I am going to show you a full vocal warm up that you can do, and this is just in time for back to school. So I know that a lot of people take breaks from singing over the summer. So we are back, it is September, and we are going to really kick some butt this fall in cultivating our voices and just really getting back into the game. So hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, make sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of my lives that I do every Wednesday. And if you are a singer and you've been trying to improve your high notes, I actually have a three day free course for you that you can sign up at singingwithlauren.com slash high notes. Hope to see you in your inbox. Okay, let's start this warm up. So whenever we warm up, we wanna make sure that we're starting slowly and that we're starting in the middle of our voice. So I'm gonna start on a middle C to G right now. And I'm just gonna do a one, five, one slide. So it sounds like, sounds like this. That's it. And you wanna make sure that you're touching all the notes on the way up and all the notes on the way down. If it starts to go too high or too low for you, just drop out and come back in when we're at a more reasonable range for you. So that was, uh, we, we started the lowest note at C and then we went all the way up. So that, that's C4 and then we went all the way up to um, F sharp 5. Okay, so I love to start with slides because it really enables us to start slowly and really start engaging our breath. We're going to do more bubble lifts, but we're gonna start on, on five and we're gonna do two rounds. the use of that one breath that we took in and also allows us to start moving on, working on our speed while we're moving, moving more quickly through our notes. So we're gonna actually do that same thing, but we're gonna go down the scale this time. So I'm gonna start back on middle C. Man, if you're doing this along with me, you're generally gonna be an octave below me the whole time. Okay, just breathe.
great. Okay, so that gives you a really good start to being warmed up. Now, generally when you're warming up, you do want to spend about 10 to 15 minutes of warming up. I'm going to try to hit that sweet spot about 12 minutes in this video so that you can really get the whole picture. And so while you're doing those bubble lifts, I do want to make sure that you're not going really far into the back of your throat, that you're really feeling that sound come, come in around here because that means that your tongue is not involved and we never want our tongues, the back of our tongues, to be too involved when we're singing. We want them to be relaxed, flat in our mouth. Now the front of the tongue does help us to enunciate E, E, and once we get to A, ah, our tongue is flat and our tongue remains flat for O oh and OO. So that's just something to think about as you're warming up. You don't want your tongue to be getting involved right off the bat. Now we're gonna move on to this one. It goes like this. Hum. And the goal of this one is not to sing as loudly as you possibly can. It's actually to sing quietly and to make sure that that placement of the sound isn't sliding into the back of your throat. Okay, so we're gonna do that together. Hum. So instead of thinking hu, uh, um, like H-U-M, I want you to think H-A-M. That's gonna help you not throw things to the back of your throat. Hum. for O and O. If you are going O, uh, O, uh, O, uh, and you're not moving your lips at all, that means you're using the back of your throat to create those vowels, and we definitely do not want that. So here we go. Me, me. space already or are you coming at it this from a place that you're reaching up to that note we never want to be reaching because when we think reach our throat reaches if we think that we're already up there and that we're just preparing the space and the breath we're ready we are ready for it that's what we want okay so get take that good breath open your mouth Me Awesome. 
So now I'm gonna show you one more that's really gonna help you guys uh, work on your range, okay? So this is an octave exercise, which means that you won't be able to go uh, as wide with this exercise because you're gonna have to keep in mind that you're, you're utilizing an entire octave, right? So for me, I'm actually gonna start by using a G3. I'm gonna be going to G3, sliding up to G4 and back down. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna do it on an ah. Uh. Uh. So what I want you to think about when you're doing this is A, you're not moving your mouth. You're finding your vowel shape, ah, uh, and you're rolling with it. When you guys start to move your mouth while you're singing, we hear it. And we hear it as kind of like a chewing sound on the note. Let me, let me um, show you what it sounds like. Uh, <laughs> okay, it sounds more like a kazoo than a, a voice, right? So make sure you keep your mouth in the same position. Then I also want you to make sure that each time you're breathing, you're feeling your lungs fill up and you're feeling your lungs stay out while you're singing, right? So, uh, see how my, my ribs are still out? If they were closed, they'd look like this. When they're, when they're open, I engage everything to keep them open. That is what support is, you guys. That is what support is, okay? So let's do this together. We're gonna start in the same place. Um, men, you're probably going to be able to do this an octave below me, but you might need to jump in when, we're, when we get one or two in, okay? Uh, 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 uh. Are you pushing it forward or are you allowing it to be balanced, right? So that was C to C. Now we're gonna go C sharp to C sharp. sound and allowing it to stay even throughout your range. Okay, so I'm feeling nice and warmed up, which means that you are too. If you guys really like these warm-up videos, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Definitely let me know anything that you would like to see from me on these Friday Technique videos. I have a lot of fun making them, but I have even more fun making them when I know exactly what you want to watch a video on. Okay, have a great day. Thanks for joining me today.